Hey, it's Greg, and welcome back, where today we're going to be checking out a VR experience game with my tiny, tiny hands. I, why, why are my fingers so, why are they so small? But welcome to PC Virtual Labs, where this game is all about building your own dream desktop, where I've already built quite a few desktops in my day. I've built quite a few, but today this game is going to teach us how to do that. Welcome to the tutorial on how to assemble a PC by parts. Wow, thanks, robot man. First, we are going to place the motherboard. Uh, okay. Uh, I will grab this and shove it in, I guess. And then we put in the CP... No, no, don't. <laughs> so, when you're building a PC, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you step by step inside my, my Gerg brain. You don't put in the motherboard first inside of your chassis. You put the CPU inside the the motherboard and the RAM most of the time in first, and then you put the motherboard in. You don't do it this way, because there's a chance that the motherboard might get destroyed. So let's not destroy that. Central processing, it's telling me what a CPU is. CPUs are brains of computers. Yes, that's why inside of my computer it's called Camelot and my CPU's name is Guinevere because it's the heart of it all of the weird love triangle that the pieces all get put together so yes let's let's put in the CPU okay great now place the CPU in the motherboard socket yeah okay if I can do that come on Did, are my are my little tiny fingers a little too big I, I it's literally not letting me do that oh there it was for a sec Oh, I, I can do this. Come on, buddy. You know you want to get in my hands. You know you want to get into my tiny little sausage fingers. There we go. Oh my god, I had to like force grab it. Okay. And then we put it right there. Yeah, it just, you don't clamp it down or anything. It just sits there, right? That's how PCs work. Great. Now place two RAM modules in the slots on the motherboard. Okay. Are we doing a one by three or two by four? You gotta, you gotta let me know about this. Okay. High speed. Data is only stored temporarily. All right, I guess we'll grab one stick of RAM very carefully with these. We, we gotta be delicate with the RAM. We gotta delicately place it in. And we're doing a one by three, aren't we? Oh, that's not good. All right, it, it, at least it offsets it. Uh, the CPU cooler, okay, great. Now place the CPU cooler on the motherboard over the processor. This is another one of those things that you should probably, uh, this is huge. This is really big. <laughs> this is like an excessive size. Now place the graphics card GPU in the PCI Express slot, the PCIe slot. Yes. That that, that what uh, what brand is this? We, we gotta know. Is it MSI? Asus? What is this? Okay, let's just shove that in. Yeah, that's not dangerous at all. <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> Great. Now place the SSD type hard drive. Okay, now this this here looks like a Samsung. This looks exactly like the SSD that's in mine right now. Oh, they also have the M2. Okay, that is Samsung. They just, that's Samsung. They can't do that. They they straight up ripped the Samsung like a PNG off Google and said, yeah, that's good enough. We'll put it that in our in our VR game and uh, the power supply. All right, let's shove that in there. We don't need to read. Sorry. Great. Press the red button and check that the computer works. Uh, <laughs> uh, shouldn't I, in you know, wire things or anything? Because you see these little pins here? They, they need, it needs wiring from the power supply to power everything. But I guess since the RAM looks like the R GP is working, that's fine. And we got no fans. We have zero airflow. That's great. All right, let's push the button. And it posts. Wow. It, oh my goodness, it works. Okay, in this exercise, you have to place each of the texts in its corresponding place on the motherboard. Okay, that is a huge motherboard. All right, and this looks like an Asus model, by the way. All right, so the, the CPU, if I can grab it, how do I, what do I do? I, I'm trying, oh, here we go. Okay, that goes there. Uh, the CPU goes here. Uh, VRAM? Most of the time the GPU does that? Oh, it's VRM, the voltage reg regulator. That is, if I remember correctly, no, not down there. Okay, the M2, go, mine is hidden, but I think it goes right there. Okay, RAM is definitely right there. RAM is right here. There we go. VRM. Oh, no, the M2 is below, right there. 
Why is the M2 there? I've... N I don't... Oh, uh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. And that's the PCH. And that's it, right? Great. Next challenge. And I like how it's... Giving <laughs> I like how it was giving you, like, instructions on the board, but you couldn't read it because the giant motherboard was in the way. <laughs> uh, place the fans in the most efficient way to extract the heat. Okay, so it looks like we got heat coming up. So we want fans to go either up and out because the way my airflow goes it goes like this so my air is coming down in this way and so it all blows out the back okay we want this one then we want three fans here oh i can only put two fans there i guess that's it Great, let's go to the next challenge. Okay, now we have uh, a whole bunch of pieces here. Okay, by placing any element on the plate, you can see its characteristics. Okay, oh, and they want a specific build. Got you. Okay, and can I say that this game does not tell you, like, the amount of hassle it is to actually build a PC? Because the most trouble that comes with it is actually screwing things in. Okay, so that's an 8-core. That is not what they want. They want a 12-core processor. If I can, please, please force grab it. Please, oop, there, 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 there it is. Come on, come on, please. I am trying, don't stop moving around. You're freaking me out. Okay, what do we got here? 12-core 3.7. That's exactly what they want. So let's grab that back. There we go. Motherboard. Put that in there. Oh, it's letting me do it first. Oh, that's so good. At least 16 gigs. All right, well, they're all gonna be different, aren't they? So that's an eight gig stick. That's a four gig stick. That's a two gig stick. Another eight gigs, okay. So we found the ones that we're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and slide those on in. You want a GPU with eight gigs of VRAM. And GDDR6. Well, found, found it. <laughs> Okay, well, we gotta do this proper. We gotta do this proper. We gotta stick that in first, and then this. We gotta be, we gotta be smooth about it. Shove that on there, because why not? <laughs> uh, SSD with 200 or 512 gigs of storage. That's it? Come on, you can do better than that. See, that's 2 terabyte. Go with the 2 terabyte. And it's probably gonna be this one. I would think 512. Yep. That's it. Grab that, shove that in there. And power supply with 800 watts, with at least 800 watts, so let's go with this one. Because that says 850 on it, I don't have to check. That's what it says. Great, you have completed the assembly, let's check your results. I did excellent. Alright, let's see how you did. Tutorial. Uh, this is not English. Resultados. Uh-oh. That's not English. I, I got zero stars in the tutorial. I got three stars in placement. Five stars in airflow and five stars in the assignment. Uh, is that is that a good thing? Did I do? And I guess we go back to the menu. Well, going back to the menu has a floppy motherboard. My goodness. Yeah, this definitely isn't the game to check out if you're wanting to build a PC. Uh, that is a, that is a very bad idea. <laughs> this game almost te it teaches you like the. The bare bones fundamentals on building a PC, but everything that it was showing you what to do and things like that, it is almost completely wrong. <laughs> was that the game? Was that it? Was that the whole game? Oh, we can probably speedrun it. All right, speedrun time. Speedrun time. Speed run. Speed run. I'm, I'm doing this quick. See this? Five stars. Give me five stars, you little robot bastard. Boom. See, it boots. <laughs> Even though I didn't screw anything in. See, this game sort of just kind of only teaches you, like, what each of the little bits and pieces are, but they don't really teach you how to actually put them in and what they do. Exactly. See, it did. I'm speed running this. Easy motherboard. Like, I will say the game, like, gives you, like, a good idea of, like, you know, like, airflow, stuff like that. That's interesting. But it didn't teach you that you need to clamp in the the CPU into the motherboard there's a there's like a like a latch that you have to use on the motherboard to make sure that it doesn't like let the CPU just kind of roam free and do its best there we go i did it i speed i speed run i sped run the game let's see how i did placement 
Four stars? I failed at one of the- oh, because I had to- it- the GPU one didn't go where it was supposed to, and I had to move it back, so that counted as a fail? You know what? Five stars all across the board. Screw you. Screw this little guy. Uh... Yeah, so that was PC... What What is it called? It's called PC Virtual Lab. It's a free game on Steam. I believe is meant to teach people how to build a computer. Sort of like PC Building Simulator or something like that. But I, I definitely wouldn't use this as like your definitive tutorial. I would probably play this just to kind of figure out what pieces are what and kind of figuratively see the size of certain things, but they didn't teach you how to wire the power supply to the different pieces. They didn't teach you how to actually connect the SSD to your motherboard for the motherboard to connect to the CPU and stuff so everything works together. And they only showed you one type of CPU fan, which that right there is excessive, by the way. The one that typically comes with your CPU is most of the time enough. If you want to, like, overclock the shit out of your computer, use one of these. Or use uh, water cooling, stuff like that. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Roasting this game. What is that sign back there? Say, keep calm and build the computer. Wow, so motivational. Don't look at me. Don't you dare look at me. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.